The history of Haskell Indian Nations University begins with its opening in 1884 as a tribal boarding school for Native American students from across the country. Today we continue the strong legacy and are a four-year university serving Native American students from across the world. In 1887, the school was renamed in honor of Dudley Chase Haskell, a United States representative from Kansas who was instrumental in getting the school located here in his home district of Lawrence. From its inaugural class of 15 students, the school quickly grew to over 600 students within its first decade. These students represented 36 states, and in those early years, in accordance with the governmental policy of forced assimilation of Native American students through mandatory education, children as young as three years of age were brought here, sometimes forcibly, and served terms of up to 10 years. When they were brought here to school, they were stripped of their tribal clothing, or were punished severely for speaking their language or practicing their own cultures. Upon completion of their education, some students would return home to their tribal communities and find themselves completely unable to communicate with their families, having lost their language abilities at school, and not being aware of the culture or where they fit in or their place within their own families. Some, however, fell victim to the brutal conditions at these schools and remain there today. From the end of the 19th century, though, athletics has played a pivotal role in the American collegiate experience, having fielded their first baseball team in 1897 and football team in 1900. Other sports quickly followed, with Haskell quickly gaining reputation for producing quality teams across the country. One athlete in particular from this time period would be the Olympian Jim Thorpe. Upon his arrival in 1898, Thorpe didn't remain at Haskell very long, running away home to Oklahoma. However, he did continue his education at the Carlisle Indian Industrial School in Pennsylvania, where he played under Pop Warner and was a two-time All-American. He went on to compete in the 1912 Olympic Games, where he was the first Native American to win a gold medal. Other Olympians from Haskell's proud tradition include Amazoli Patasani in the 1920 Olympics, Buster Charles in the 1932 Olympics, and Billy Mills, our most recent Olympian, in 1964. At the same time, Haskell Athletics was making a name for themselves here at home as well as across the world. The dedication of the 1926 Haskell Memorial Stadium was the dedication of the first lighted stadium west of the Mississippi as well as the first tribally funded war memorial in the world. Haskell's growth continued in this trajectory, eventually phasing out high school classes in 1965 and becoming a junior college in 1970 and participating in the NJCAA. In 1993, we transitioned again to a four-year university and became part of NAIA in 2000. Today, we are one of only two four-year universities servicing 100% Native American students in the world. Haskell continues to grow as the only four-year tribal institution affiliated with NAIA and continues to support Native American students and athletes across the country.